today we're going to solve proportions. Now, one thing about solving a proportion is that a lot of our, some of our problems today will um, not have a whole number as the solution for x. So, if you have not watched my videos on solving equations, uh, I would recommend you viewing those videos before you get to to solving proportions because a lot of those steps that we used in solving equations will will help you with solving proportions. Okay. Say so you had x over six equals five over thirty. Now, uh, the the best way to to solve this proportion is by using the using a method using cross multiplication. Uh, some some people some equations you can just look at and determine what the answer is going to be. Because I know that 6 times 5, because I know that 6 times 5 is going to give me 30, well, I need to know what times 5 will give me 5. Well, I know that this is going to be a 1. Well, what happens when my equations are fractions? and I can't do this method. Well, what you do, you would use the you would cross multiply. So let's use the same problem. I'm going to multiply x times 30. Then I'm going to multiply 6 times 3. Well, x times 30 is 30x. And 6 times 3 is 30. Here we have a one-step equation. I'm going to divide both sides by 30. So x equals 1. Just like we said over here, x equals 1. I just want to go through the process so you can see exactly what we're going to be doing today. Okay? Let's do another one. Or maybe you try this one using the same method. X over 9 equals 2 over 18. Well, we're going to multiply x times 18, which is 18x. And then we're going to multiply 9 times 2, which is 18. Divide both sides by 18. So x equals 1. All right. Let's try this one. X over 3 equals 7 over 10. Well, you want to go through the same exact method that we went through before. You want to multiply X times 10. X times 10 will give me 10X. Then you want to multiply 3 times 7. That's going to give me 21. You want to divide both sides by 10. One step equation. 10's are going to cancel, so therefore x equals 21 over 10. And if you'd like to, you can change that into a mixed number if you'd like. Let's try this one. What about 
what if I put 5 over x equals 9 over uh, 4? Apply the same method. 5 times 4 is 20. And 9 times x is 9x. I'm going to divide both sides by 9. 9 is going to cancel, so x equals 20 over 9. Let's try another one. What if I had um, x plus 6 over 2 equals 8 over 3? We're going to go through the exact same process. This shouldn't scare you. It's the exact same process. The only difference is, is that we're going to have to just add just a little stuff in there because right now I don't want to multiply these two in my head because I may make a mistake. So I'm going to actually write it out. So that's going to be 3 times x plus 6 equals 2 times 8 is 16. And like I said, if you have not watched my videos on solving equations, then I recommend you watch watching those, and that will help you with this problem, okay? About what I'm going about to do. So I'm going to multiply 3 times x, which is 3x. I'm going to multiply 3 times 6, which is 18, equals 16. Subtract 18 on both sides. Your 18s will cancel. So 3x equals negative 2. Now I'm at a one-step equation. Divide both sides by 3. They cancel, so x equals negative 2 thirds. Okay? I'd like for you to try this one. Okay, if you'll please freeze the video. Alright. I'm going to multiply the 4 times the x minus 3. So I'm going to write 4 times x minus 3. equals, I'm going to multiply 5 times 2, which is 10. So now I'm going to multiply the 4 times x, which is 4x, and the 4 times negative 3, which is negative 12, equals 10. I'm going to add 12 to both sides. I'm going to cancel. That's going to be 4x equals 22. Divide both sides by 4. So therefore, x equals 22 over 4. And we can reduce that down to 11 over 2. Do you have? I, ho I hope you are able to see that we're doing the exact same thing um, in every step. So, so let's kick it up a little bit more, okay? Let's try this one. What if I gave you x plus six over x minus three? Let me keep the number small. Equals two fifths. Yes. 
Well, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to multiply the x plus 6 times 5, so 5 times x plus 6 equals 2 times x minus 3. So, I multiply these two. This is a binomial, so therefore I, I had to keep these two together, okay? I just can't add 5 and just can't multiply 5 and 6 and leave it like that, okay? So, I have to multiply this 5 times everything, this entire uh, binomial, okay? So, I'm going to apply the distributive property, and we talked about distributive property in the multi-step equation video. So 5 times x is 5x and 5 times 6 is 30 equals 2 times x is 2x and 2 times negative 3 is minus 6. Now we're going, I like moving my smallest x first. I have 5x on this side and 2x on this side. I like to move my smallest x. Since 2x's is smaller than 5x's, I'm going to subtract 2x's on both sides. They're going to cancel. So 5x minus 2x is 3x plus 30 equals negative 6. Now I'm going to subtract 30 on both sides. They're going to cancel. So I'm left with 3x equals negative 36 because negative 6 minus 30 is negative 36. And I'm going to, going to just write this problem up here now because I'm getting sort of low on my paper here. So now I'm going to divide both sides by 3. The threes will cancel, so x equals negative 12 because negative 36 divided by 3 is negative 12. Okay. And if you wanted to, you could substitute negative 12 into the x here, both this x and this x. You'll end up, that these two will be exactly the same. You may have to reduce this one once you, well, let, let's actually do it. Let's do, let's do it. So let's check it. We have x plus 6 over x minus 3 equals 2 over 5. Okay. So I'm going to substitute my uh, negative 12 in for my x. So I have negative 12 plus 6 over negative 12 minus 3 equals 2 fifths. Okay. And just like I always say, you want to make sure you always write your original equation down just to make sure that you substitute everything in, the, in its proper place, okay? So negative 12 minus 6 is negative 6. Negative 12 minus 3 is negative 15 equals 2 fifths. If I divide... If I divide negative 6, I, I need to think of a factor that will go into both 6 and 15. I need to do a video on reducing the fractions. Um, if I divide both, I need to think of a number that will go into both 6 and 15, a factor. Okay? The number 3 will go into 6 and negative 6 and negative 15 evenly. So if I divide negative 6 divided by 3 and negative 15 divided by 3, negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2, and negative 15 divided by 3 is negative 5 equals 2 fifths. Well, I know that a negative, when a negative divided by a negative is a positive, so therefore, this is going to end up being positive two-fifths equals positive two-fifths. Okay? And there's your check.
All right, I hope this uh, video helped you. Um, please email me at mathwithmoon at gmail.com, and I will be more than happy to take your suggestions and your comments. And if there's a video you'd like for me to make, I'll be more than happy to, happy to, to make that video. Um, and I will see you next time. Have a great day.